I think uh, it's important for us, firstly, to remember that we should contemplate. You know, although we're going to the masjid and we're praying the five prayers, or if we're praying at home or wherever we may be, that time of tarawih is the extra time that we come together for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just contemplating over the fact that we come together and we make extra prayers together should remind us that this sharia, this, this deen of Islam is something so comprehensive and it has an ultimate goal for us to be together. Which leads me to the second point of community. We should never belittle the fact that whatever mosque you're in, in your individual mosques, together, collectively, in us as an ummah, we are all a community. So all of those things that may happen at the beginning of the year, month of Ramadan, you know, the differences that we may have, and just in general, the differences that we have as a community because of the diversity of thought, of experience. Always remember when you walk in the masjid and you see everyone praying together after Salat al-Isha, the last prayer of the day, remember how Allah wants all of us to be united as a community. And thirdly, I would say just the fact of uh, consistency. The fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated this month of Ramadan and then at the very end of the day, before you go to sleep and go to work the next day, you're together as a community, you're contemplating over the greatness of Islam, the greatness of this legislation, and it's on a consistent basis. It's to condition us to be people that come together for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not just with our bodies, but with our hearts, inshallah. All right, so number four, what I would add to that, you know, while you're being consistent with tarawih, and obviously you don't want to fall off with the nights, especially in the middle nights, make sure that you actually use the recitation of the imam to gauge your own khatam, your own recitation. So if you're looking at where the imam is reciting, read the chapter, the translation, in advance of tarawih that the imam is going to be reading. Find out what he's going to be reading the next night and always be a step ahead. That will keep you accountable to your Qur'an goals and it's going to allow you to understand what the imam is reciting and connect with it more. Finally, number five, add two rak'ahs at home if you're praying in the masjid because you want to ultimately have a qiyam habit that's going to outlive Ramadan, inshallah ta'ala. 